Hi there, this is for Adobe After Effects. Um, launches from the window menu. It's uh, how to install it is at the end of this video. It's an alternative to using the render queue, using path templates to render or memo paths. The idea is that you use the templates so you never have to navigate and create folders for render through the render queue, eliminating repetitive tasks. If you create all project structures the same, then you can always render to the right folder and the right project in one click. Okay, so it's useful for people if you if you find yourself rendering the same things to the same uh, folders all the time, it's going to help you out. Okay, so you can see my project structure on the left. So the first two are memo paths. Okay, so for example, if I have this um, uh, active sports project. If I want to render as JPEG to my image library folder on the left, I just click that button, okay? So I'm going to go left and right so you can see what happens. Um, so in image library, it's created a subfolder for sports based on composition name, okay? And I go in there and there is all my renders, okay? No twiddling around with the render queue, okay? Now this script is a simplified version for people that want to save time and just be efficient it doesn't have every setting possible in the render queue you know so there's a threshold where you need to use for your simple stuff have it docked in your UI um, if you want ultimate control you need to move over to the render queue it's about speed okay so I'm just gonna go back here um, just delete that folder okay so these are set in settings. So the first two are memo folders. So if I want to render to my ongoing, same thing, just one click in my ongoing folder over here. Now it's rendered a folder full of JPEGs. Um, okay. Now, path templates. These are slightly different color here to show you that they work a little differently. These work relative to where your After Effects project is saved. Okay. Now the great thing about this is if I have three projects here, if I make the um, the substructure of these projects the same um, each time, then you can set this in Adobe After Effects to always look for a certain folder to render to. Okay, so whatever your project structure is, so if we're in Project Sports and my After Effects file is in here, this is the file I've opened. You can see that up here corresponds. Okay, so it's going to uh, look for a renders directory, uh, which is one level up from where the After Effects uh, project is. Okay, so project is in there and it's going to look for renders directory and try to render in there. Okay, so if we are in the sports project, so all I have to do is click render. Okay, and now I'm in my sports project, go into the renders directory and there's my render, okay? Now the beauty about this is, if I open a different project, so I'm gonna go to uh, my fire effect project, okay? So I'm in a completely different project, okay? I just click this refresh button, and you can see that this path has changed, okay? So now if I open, say this fire comp, and I just click one click render, okay? So in my project structure, I'm now in my project fire effect, and that render has gone into the renders directory in the fire project, okay? Just like that, okay? Now I can set up a second one there, say I'm doing previews and I'm not doing my final render. All I have to do is click that button. It's rendering as a JPEG sequence, okay? So if I go into the preview directory of that, there you go, there's uh, your renders. So I think you can gather straight away how quick that was, okay? Without adding to the render queue, navigating all your uh, various um, uh, file structure each time for every single render, if you find yourself doing the same thing all the time. So very quickly, I'm now going to pop to another one. So I'm going to go into uh, a news project, okay? Same thing, just gonna refresh. So now we're in project news. I'm gonna render this active comp. I'm gonna render 
one sequence to renders directory and one sequence to the preview directory. If I pop over here, I go into my news directory. You can already see that there's something in my preview directory and also in the renders directory. So hopping in and out of projects, rendering to the same folders all the time makes it easy, okay? Um, incidentally, if I drag this to the side, I've made this extendable, so if you have long paths that you'll be able to see see them, okay? Um, okay. So, how do you set these? How do you set the relative path, okay? And these, these are pretty simple, but I'll show you how to set these second to the project templates, okay? So I'm gonna pop in here. First two are pretty obvious. You just click that button, you navigate, and set those to wherever you find yourself always rendering. Or maybe you're for two weeks, you're on a project, you want quick access to this memo folder. Set them to whatever you want. Project template folders, you edit these on the right-hand side, okay? There's an explanation here that you can always refer to in settings, so if you forget how it works, but you get used to it, it's very, very simple. So I'll show you with the first one. As I update on the right-hand side, uh, it'll update the left-hand side. If I delete that, you can see that this defaults to wherever my project file is saved, okay? If I wanna save beside my project file, I just write in renders, and there you can see it'll save alongside my After Effects file, okay? Now, if I do a double dot and a forward slash, it will go up one level in the project or in the folder structure. So it'll look for a folder called renders, um, which I have usually, uh, which is one level up. If I want to go two levels up, dot, dot, forward slash, so you can see the path shortening on the left. If I go again, another level up, so it'll render to a renders directory um, on my D drive, okay? So it's, it's really that simple. So I'll leave that as it is so you can see when it updates, okay? So I'll apply and close, and here you can see this has changed to D renders. This is all saved between projects, so um, saved as a setting, so that's why it changes um, each time, you know? So these two are relative to where your After Effects project is, okay? So you need to set it up um, in a system that's useful to you. If you create your project structures the same, you're on the pig's back and you know where your renders are going all the time, okay? Um, there's a nice feature that we can date stamp uh, files and folders. This is down here. Gives you the tokens here, okay? And this updates live on the right-hand side. So if I want to get rid of the year, I get rid of those um, Y, 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 Y. Okay, if I want uh, the time in, I add HH at the end, okay? So we'll leave it like that for now. I'm going to untick add date before name, um, apply and close, okay? So I can click add date here, okay? So let's... Um, so we're in our news directory, so let's let's render this project to the news directory again, okay? Except this time we're gonna date stamp it. So my left-hand side, I, I know where it's going, so I go into my news directory, I render to my preview, and there you go, you have a folder that's date stamped. Very useful, okay? I'll show you what happens if we change our module to Say a quick time uh, H264, I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna add date and I'm gonna render to. So there you go, on the left hand side we have the name of the comp and it's date stamped.mp4, very useful. If you need to batch render, um, very simple. You just click Q only. So if I click render, 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 render. You can see all these guys have been just dropped on the render queue if you want to batch them all together. But you can see that all the paths have been set correctly, okay? You can see it there, so that's in ongoing. This one is uh, in D renders, and this one is in the news project in preview and a date stamped um, MP4 file, okay? 
So that's how you batch render. Okay. So the main thing to remember is that these two paths with a slightly different background in the edit box are relative paths to your current project. And these are paths you set that you render to all the time. You click this button when you're switching projects to make sure that these two template paths update, okay? This little button imports the last file rendered and it conveniently drops it on the top of your active comp if you have an active comp, okay? That's something I do all the time. You render something out, you wanna import it straight away. So nice little shortcut there. These little buttons uh, navigate straight to whatever path are in these boxes. So if I click that one, goes straight there in your file browser. It'll be Finder on a Mac, obviously. Create folders for sequences. Usually you want that on, okay. Date stamp, you tick that, and you set it in settings. Um, your, your output module is remembered between sessions, like these guys, for convenience, you know. Um, so in settings again, just have a quick read of this as well, along with the video, and you'll get used to it very quickly. This example project here um, uh, and ex explains the templates on the right-hand side, you know? So this is where your project might be. In a subfolder, you just enter a subfolder name here, okay? Then you dot dot forward slash goes up one level and looks for a certain folder called preview. Um, you know, go up two levels, you just repeat that. Um, Super Render will make these directories if they don't exist, okay? So if you have this structure the same in every project, um, it's, it's gonna work for you. The structure is up to you, of course, but if you just make sure that you are regimented about moving project to project, it can save you a lot of time. Um, date stamping is gonna be very useful for versioning, um, so that's uh, helping me out quite a bit already, okay? So that's it. Um, I hope it saves you a lot of time. Thanks.